what's up? It's Jackson the Squad, and guess what we're doing today? We're watching Ham and Nation's new videos. I thought you wanted to guess. What? What? I thought you said, "What are we?" You asked what we're doing, and I was gonna guess. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm too excited to watch his new videos. But we're gonna start off with his newest short. Uh, I cried over Connect Four. Okay. Start to feel this. I've cried before. Yeah, I've cried over. One board time, games. me and my family were on a trip in our camper. We were inside chilling, and I was playing Connect Four. I kept playing with my brother and my mom. I continued rematching them and losing. It became a cycle of getting more insecure and feeling stupid, which made me make my moves faster, which made me make dumb mistakes, which made me lose, which made right me feel pattern. stupid. I kept losing over and over, and That's it was base, getting to mom. me. The cycle continued, and eventually, I just started crying. Over Connect Four, <laughs> and here's the kicker. Wow. I was 18 years old at what? the time. I was having Whoa. a lot of negative self-talk, I guess. Don't worry, I'm nicer to myself now, and I'm better at Connect Four. Yay, character development. Nice hey, Bryson, want to play another round? Uh-oh. Sure. <laughs> Good job, man. Good job. Thanks. Poor Good game. Bryce. You did well, too. Oh! I wanted to do that before. Bryson live in my table flip dreams. Jeez. <laughs> Next one is this newest full video, Getting Recognized in the Wild. Oh. I hope I can see him in the wild one day so I can shake his hand. Like at the zoo? No, what? No, not at the zoo. <laughs> Are you Haminations? Nope. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Hi, I'm Bryson, and I have upwards of six subscribers, which means instead of getting a real job, I make internet videos. My mom is probably uh, yeah. so proud of me. Whoa. Since I have a following, that means that on the very rare occasions when I step outside, sometimes other people spot me in the wild and have the audacity to come talk to me like we're equals or something. <laughs> Oh, wow, Did I Bryson. say that out loud? Uh, what I meant to say was, sometimes other people spot me in the wild and it makes me uncomfortable because I'm a little shy. Don't hesitate to say hi if you ever do see me though. I'm learning to break out of my shell and I love meeting you guys. Oh, then when I go back home, I crawl back into my shell. Now it's gonna be hard <laughs> to tell a story about people recognizing me without sounding egotistic. But rest assured, I am a humble person. Like I am so incredibly humble. I'm way more humble than you. I'm the most humble person there has ever been. Never been. With that in mind, let's get on to the stories. The first time I ever got recognized was at a trampoline park. As I was jumping around, a this kid walked park? over to me and asked, A trampoline park? Do you not know what that is, Luca? These exist and you've yeah, never taken awesome. me? You gotta come with us sometime. <laughs> you guys never invite me. You always leave me at home. Yeah. Next time you come, you should come with us and we'll throw light against one of the wall trampolines and he'll just launch off. <laughs> <laughs> I want this so bad. Um, I, uh, yes. Uh, I'm not crying, you are. I like your videos. I was so shocked because Aww. unless a person catches me, I definitely hide the fact that I do YouTube <laughs> because I'm embarrassed that I never got a oh, real job and that I'm a college dropout. So whenever people ask me what I do for a living, I timidly say, yeah, I'm an animator. However, my family definitely does not feel the same. Every chance they get, they're like, he's a famous YouTuber. Aww. He's got over 2 million Aww. subscribers and he makes a lot of money. To people I barely know, which obviously <laughs> I don't like because I hate bragging and I don't want this person I just met knowing that I dropped out of college for internet views. For instance, one time my he family was at now, an but... Olive Garden, I mean, Olive Look, Arden, yeah, and yeah, the yeah, waiter remember, asked, Olive shouldn't Arden. you be in school? Haha, <laughs> no. <laughs> what, is it a day off? Well, I, um, don't go to school what because I'm working. <sighs> what do you do for work? <laughs> uh -oh. I'm an please, animator. Please anyway, oh, what kind of animator? Like, bro, stop grilling me and go get me some breadsticks. And this whole time, my mom <laughs> yeah. was just using all her restraint to not expose me. But for the first time ever, she kept her mouth shut. I was safe Good job, Mom. that time. But here's a time my family wasn't so considerate. I was taking Bo for a walk with my brother Brody and his wife, Jen. And I was looking crusty that evening. Oh. It was a messy hair oh. and sweatpants kind of day. Uh. For the fifth day in a row. Oh. Anyway, we had a nice oh. walk and stopped at a playground and started casually chatting and swinging. Is it safe to say that somebody could use that profile picture? Oh. He looks like the dead guy from SpongeBob when he ate that really gross Krabby Patty. I like that he's got snacks for later all over his face. Just just as I was thinking about telling Bo to go down a slide, one of the kids says, are any of you guys YouTubers? Nope. Look, I didn't want to get caught, especially since I was looking crusty, okay? Are you sure? We heard someone say the name Bryson. Huh, that's weird. At this moment, Brody and Jen couldn't hold it in anymore, and they yelled, that's Bryson from Heminations. Get him. Oh, wow. Yeah, get him. Dogs. 
The two boys rushed me and started bombarding me with questions. <laughs> so how old are you? Where do you live? Can I come to your house? What's your social security number? Wait, uh, what? Uh, and the older boy very bad. powerfully says, I want to be in a video. He didn't there ask by saying, can I be in a video? He demanded it. You've got oh, some wow. dang nerve, kid. I but I guess it worked because he's in a video now. This yeah, other time, I was at a dim sum well, restaurant with my family. Like and while I'm chowing part. down on dumplings like a pig, a oh, boy at the table in front of us noticed me. He asked if I was Haminations. But like a true crusty celebrity, I was elegantly <laughs> inhaling a pork bun. So I didn't hear. Yeah. But suddenly I hear Brody say, Yup, that's Haminations. He exposed Brody. me again. <laughs> the boy Brody, screamed, I met a YouTuber? And I'm just sitting there with my mouth full like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can't let that go to waste. Mm. Hey, oh, well, I mean. I went to take a picture with him, but the boy was afraid to get close to me. Don't worry, kid. I'm just a Aww. normal guy. I've seen you beat people up in your videos, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's only when they talk bad about him. You're giving him the cheeks. That's all behind me. I have conquered my violent tendencies. Now I'm creating my meaning and living my truth. Oh, don't trust okay. him. Smile for the picture. Ah. Oh, why okay. No Bye eyes? now. Bye now. Oh. Oh. It was a fun experience, even though I didn't give Brody permission to expose me. But don't worry, Brody. I forgive you. Oh, Brody. Ah! Another time, a yeah. girl recognized me at a convention, and she screamed at me so loud I almost fell over out of fear. Oh. But she was nice. Also, a young boy <laughs> oh, there yeah. told me now he needed to upload more. Phantom. It hurt, but it was also true. We're working on it, kid. This next story took place in the Harry Potter theme park in Florida on the Hogwarts Express. A grown oh, man there. openly fanboying oh. about Harry Potter. I know, I'm a very cool. When I take girls back to my place and show them my Lego Harry Potter collection, they oh, practically okay. throw themselves at me. I can barely I keep the ladies at bay. Take me now, Bryson. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Grayson was and had always been alone. He thought that lying to his audience and showing make-believe scenarios of his fabricated romantic escapades would fill the hole in his heart. But he sat there feeling into a though. He checked his phone, hoping for a distraction from his sad reality, only to see the text message thread between him and his crush. He had sent hundreds of desperate messages to her. Oh, he's the only one. No, no Bryson, no. Or fantasizing could stop these facts. The miserable reality of the situation hit him like a ton of bricks. In truth, he had nothing, nor would he no, ever no, feel the no, touch Bryson, of a woman. Us, Bryson, I love you. Bryson wept bitterly. Well, this got sad real fast. So there I was in my home. <laughs> <laughs> <and I'm waiting laughs> Anyways. Express. I noticed a family behind me and a boy looking at me. I smiled at him and looked away, but then I noticed in line that he was staring at me. We get seated on the train and I hear him whisper to his mom something about YouTubers. And I thought I heard him say, Haminations. I'm caught, I thought to myself. Uh -oh. And he said, so what are y'all's names? This kid was good. There was nothing I could do. He knew and I knew. My name's Bryson. Are you Haminations? Yes, I am. And this kid bursts into tears on the train. I was so Aww. flustered. I didn't know what to do except comfort him and tell him it was okay. I just felt bad for the other family in there thinking, who the heck is this Bryson kid and why is he important? What kind of name is Bryson anyway? <laughs> Sorry, he watches me on the internet. <laughs> we got off the train and he filmed a quick video with me in it and then I reunited Good with my friends card. and rode the Velocicoaster. And that sums Velocicoaster. up my trip to Florida. I didn't see any gators though. Did you guys know that I was actually born in Florida? So legally, I am a Florida man. That might that explain a lot, a lot of, of things. Florida man throws horse through neighbor's window, says he was just horsing around. <laughs> Another time, me, Brody, and Jen went to this awesome go-kart place. Not to brag, but I'm pretty good at go-karting. Mario Kart taught me well. <laughs> anyway, we all get on the track and I, I smoked the other racers. I was passing everyone. We got off the track oh, yeah. and looked at the leaderboard. Boom. Me in first, Brody in second, and Jen in third. John we had demolished Mario, the other nine people guy. in the race. But then I noticed one of the kids we raced against looking back and forth between the scoreboard and me. Uh -oh. My nickname on the screen was Ham, and I could see the gears in his head turning. Oh, now, no. in these situations, I refuse to initiate the conversation. You if you ever yourself, recognize me bro. in the wild, you have to be the one to start the conversation. Because oh, if no. I thought someone recognized me and went up to them and said, hi, 
I can tell by that look in your eyes that you're a big fan of my work. I mean, why wouldn't you be? Do you want a picture? And the other person said, uh, who the heck are you? No one here knows who you are. Not everything is about you, Mr. Self-Important. Uh, <laughs> Narcissist much? My ego and emotional health would never no, be. He I cannot take that kind of risk. So, even though center. I could tell this kid knew who I was, I avoided eye contact and refused to initiate. <laughs> but this kid was pretty shy and too nervous like to start that. the conversation. So we were stuck in a stalemate of him staring at me and me trying not to make eye contact. Ew. After a while, Jen and Brody caught wind of the situation and again? introduced the kid to go. me. They exposed me again. He and his group got pictures with me and they were all really nice. If any of them are watching, I just wanted to say, your guys' racing lines are really bad. Honestly, were you even hitting the gas? You slow no! should be ashamed of how bad I beat you. It will take you 10 to 15 years to even start oh. to approach my level of go-karting prowess. You should go to bed crying every night oh, because of your colossal Oh my bed. god. Anyway, That's if you ever do see me, don't hesitate like to say hi. I promise not to judge you in retrospect and then publicly shame you. Dang, I don't know this if I next want to meet one happened anymore. at VidCon. It was supposed to be a wholesome, family-friendly meetup. At least that was the plan before oh, no. the, incident. the incident. I got through about ah. ten people, and there was a pause. Is that it? I said. Uh, no. My mom said, and she pointed. I leaned forward to see past the TV and saw a huge line oh, of people. My. I was shocked. So many nice people had come out to meet me. I was so grateful, but it took me so much by surprise that something slipped out of my mouth. Oh shoot. Only I didn't say shoot. Oh, I said no. the, the big one, the S dash 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 word. I immediately gasped and covered my mouth, but it was too late. Everyone's jaw dropped. The people at the front of the line pointed and laughed. I looked over to see my mother's face. An expression of extreme disappointment looked back at me. Oh, a face no. I knew all too well. And just like that, my family-friendly reputation was shattered. But for real, it was hilarious. Everyone laughed it off, and I had a great time meeting everyone. Going forward, so I will try not boy. to curse in front of children again. But no promises, but Oh, I did it again. Oh, 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 oh my God. All in all, I enjoy wow. meeting you guys. And if you ever do spot me, please don't hesitate to say hi. I promise I won't bite. At least not that hard. Hi, is your price? Oh, is that his team? Yeah, look at all these. Oh, look oh, at that. They're adorable. Oh, check this out, you little gremlins. I found a video that has animations in it. It's from Infamous Swoosh. Oh, I know Swoosh. Yeah, let's watch. Sleepovers. In life, the best way to get closer to your friends is to sleep with them. Well, that's no, not no, that's not what I meant. No, I was no, no, like, no. sleeping over wow. at their house, <laughs> like with them, right? Separated. I think sleepovers are underrated. Yeah. As a kid, I always enjoyed going to my friend's house, spending the day with them, and then passing out at like 3 a.m. <laughs> and that's what this video is about: sleepovers and why I still enjoy them as an adult. Yay. You graduated high school and it's still like sleeping over at your friend's house and asking your mom to pick up snacks. Hey, don't bring my mommy into this. Well, oh. you're fired. telling me you don't want to hang out with your high school buddies, eat candy, watch movies, and play video games because it sounds too childish? Yes. Well, we do, we do other Christ, things too, like talk about the weather and, and, and what cars we like. Uh, the economy is one of them. <laughs> Nobody wants to talk about the economy. <laughs> Uh -huh. like. You're a child. I could go on all day about the basic <laughs> stuff you do with sleepovers, like staying up late with your friends, explaining to them how you're incapable of finding love. <clears throat> but in this video, I want to talk about my experience <laughs> with him. I have a friend named Jimmy. Jimmy is one of my closest friends, though I'm pretty sure he doesn't watch my videos, so I guess I can say whatever I want. Oh, man, come on, Jimmy. Jimmy, you're weird and smelly. Oh. Like, what are you smelling? Ooh, Jimmy, Seems no. like every time we go to Jimmy's, Jimmy's place, something weird happens. For example, a while ago, the guys and I were doing truth or dare. And one of the Whoa. dares caused one of the guys Jeez. to jump into the snow in his underwear. And to keep oh. the person from dying of Don't embarrassment, I'm not going to say their name to the whole world. There was another dare where three of us had a five star my friend Moses. And if you don't know what a five star is, it's when you smack someone on their back as hard as you can, leaving a red Ooh. hand mark on them. So we all made a line to smack there him was in the only back. four fingers, though. What happened? <laughs> that sounds so fun. He's going a little easy on me. Oh my god! Is stuffing your face with food that's terrible for you, like candy, cookies, and chips that taste like acid. I love Takis, man. <laughs> but where do you get the snacks, you may be asking? A gas station? Did I give you permission to speak? Uh, yeah, I'm I, stepped I, in somebody I else's I say videos. I want. This is a collab. <laughs> didn't, no, I didn't. Nah, this is my video. Uh, yeah. Uh, so shut uh, up. What? My my name's in the title though. Oh yeah, that's right. 
Well, shut up anyway. There's a gas station down the street from Jimmy's house, so every time we have a sleepover, we do a gas station run. We grab the essentials like candy, chips, and, and those big slushies really from the slushie machines that cost like 99 cents. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I love oh, slushies. Yeah. Except there was this one time where Moses dropped a full slushie on the ground. Uh, what now? <laughs> uh, you gotta clean it up. How do I clean it? Napkins. He just waits in the car he for him. He just him. <laughs> So, did you clean all up? Oh, no, 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 no. Haha, <laughs> yes! Aw oh, man, that was fun. Good game, dude. God! Have you ever had unbridled rage from playing Smash Bros? <laughs> yes. I know I have. Why did you do that? You didn't deserve it. And now, on oh, to the no, movies. I'm Another key essential to having a great sleepover. There's just one problem. So when you're in a group of people, no one ever knows what movie to watch. There have been times where the dudes and I have looked for a movie for about an hour and ultimately gave up and watched YouTube videos. I hate this video. But when it really gets serious, <laughs> it's, it's too real. real. Being totally vulnerable here, some movies have definitely scared me in the past. My name is Ong. Oh, gross. And it's I'm oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nowadays, when I watch horror movies, I don't really get too scared. But. I'm definitely still a little spooked of the nighttime in general. So, I've had times where I've left my friend's house at 12 a.m. after watching a horror movie, and it turns into that one SpongeBob scene where he takes out the trash. For the crusty crab! At least he had a car. What a baby. <laughs> so, what's the lesson we learned? <laughs> Sleepovers are great. Junk food is amazing. Smash Bros will make me kill somebody one of these days. Oh. Really? You still don't like sleepovers after all that? You punched me in the face. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, I don't know what came over me. You know, sometimes when you're playing Smash Bros, things get a little crazy. Yeah! 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 Hey guys, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, we never looked at Hamination's merch, by the way. Oh, dang. Oh, all right. like a superhero. Sora, buy me this one. Uh, well, give me your credit card. Okay, my credit card information is- <laughs> Oh, okay. It's DJ Tunes and it features Hamination! Oh, all right! Today we have a special guest today. The one and only, Me. you know, Mr. Here It Comes. No! Why do you have to do me like that? No! no. I'm just kidding, Ever sorry. Do. I know. Since that video. <laughs> I watched a video with Brody and Dude, Stewie. Dude, since that video, everybody's been like, oh, here it comes. I, I'm just never going to live that down. Yeah, I brought my buddy Bryson over today to talk about some dumb things we did as kids. Oh. Smooth brain. Yeah, I don't I don't know if you guys know, but Bryson's kind of well known for his um smooth brainness. Yep. No wrinkles. Hey. Yeah, no wrinkles. Would you say that you were like, like always that. like this you know, from he birth? Himself like that. Or maybe? Yes. <laughs> maybe I got dropped. I don't no, know. Maybe. <laughs> I kind of had a similar experience actually, except like I didn't get brain damage, but I, I was pretty close. <laughs> I don't think I no. actually got. Well, I, it's questionable whether I got brain damage. Yeah, but, but I was pretty close to either getting one or even like dying from it. Uh, no. the, what? Uh, the, oh, basically, uh, my head got stuck in a metal pole once. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> So this happened when I was like four or five years old. Mm, that explains a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so at the time I was living in Korea, like in a very urban area. And my mom took me and my brothers, Peter and Daniel, outside for some fresh air. So nearby our apartment, there was like an empty lot and some alleyway. I think it was like some abandoned demolition site or something. And my mom would always tell me, never go there because it was dangerous. Obviously, you know, mm -hmm. it's a bunch of leftover site. concrete and construction stuff. Good mom. Kids, kids shouldn't go near. Yeah, bro, you don't want to like trip and oh, fall into a thing of concrete and just get stuck there oh. for all time. But on this particular day, my mom was like talking to one of her neighborhood friends. And me and my brothers just kind of looked at each other and was like, Want to play tag at the empty lot? And we all just, <laughs> we all just instinctively, you know, agreed upon it. And Daniel was That's it the at the time, and he was chasing me up like everywhere. He was chasing me up this hill once, and you know, this hill is kind of made of those sandy things that you mix with water to like make concrete and stuff. Mm. But once what? I got on top, I saw like over the sandy hill, I saw a bunch of metal poles just bunched oh, up together wow. in like the other side at the bottom. And before, before I could say anything and turn around and say anything. My brother just shoved me over like the edge oh, and I no! fell face flat 
on one of the polls. I don't really remember what happened no. after that. But the doctor did tell me I actually would have died if the pole was stuck like deeper in my head. But wow. that's that's kind of why wow. I have uh, I have part of my hair down all the time. Like I don't want people to see the scar. Oh my gosh. So you know how like little kids will see their teacher at like the grocery store and like have like an existential crisis and realize what? Like my teacher is like a real person? Isn't isn't just like a robot that stays at school and teaches me and like sleeps at the school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my Char version of that, I was like a, a little kid and we see this mail truck going through the Taco Bell <laughs> drive through Bell. And I'm like, what is he doing? And like my brother's like, he's getting food. And I was like, why? He's a mailman. All he does is deliver mail. That's his only purpose. Like, what do you mean? Oh like, it was so confusing to me as a kid. I was like, what do you mean he's getting food? He doesn't need food. He just gives mail. That's like me discovering empathy that like other people are real. Oh. And, and I had another existential crisis. I was like five. And what happened was I was like, wait a minute. If you're a police officer and your job is to enforce the law, that means you're above the law. So if you want to be a criminal, just become a police officer <laughs> and then you're good. You can do whatever you want. No one can stop you. I've since learned that's not how the system works. <laughs> police officers get arrested a lot. <laughs> oh my God. What is what is this, this level of smooth brain? Dude, with kid logic, it made sense. It added up. There was a time oh my when, my, when my hand got stuck on the door. No. I think this was also when I was like four or five. But yeah, I, I had this Smooth weird brain. dumb tendency to like stick my hand, you know, in the back of a door. So Why? I saw that my brother was in one of the rooms, like in the bedroom. And Why then the door was open. And just this? to, you know, play a little prank, you know, just be silly and stuff. I stick my hand Kids into know. the back of the door, you know, just slide it right in there. No! And then just like wiggle it around no! so that my brother would like no. notice it. And I'm just like, hey, it's me. I'm, I'm right here. Without saying anything, my brother just, <laughs> just <laughs> closed the door on me. And all of my nerve endings just oh. crump up to my brain all at once, just telling me, scream, scream, scream. And, and then, and then that's, that's when I uh, screamed. When you said, <laughs> <laughs> this is some mischief me and my brothers would get down to. We would get these laundry baskets uh, and they were like kind of long and skinny, but like not tall. So you could sit in them. And so we would we would get those. Oh no! I think I know where this is going. I know where this is going. We would we would we would ride them down the stairs. Oh my god! <laughs> At incredibly great speed. So after doing that so many times, like sledding down the stairs, basically, I was like, okay, I guess this works with anything. So I got like a big cardboard box. <laughs> no. And I got in the cardboard box. No. And I was like, okay. Here and of course, the cardboard box doesn't have rounded bottom, so it like caught. Yeah. And I just <laughs> all the way down the stairs. Like, I took a tumble, dude. No, no. That's probably another reason oh, why my brain's smooth. It's been slammed against the inside of my yeah, skull just the, so many just times. Yeah, just the sheer just amount of times <laughs> just bump your head. It's been sanded, <laughs> sanded down, oh, oh, just totally smooth. Oh, uh, that's it. Leaf. Get out. Oh, okay. All right. Bye. All right. That's the video. Actually, that's our time too. So I mean, I guess that's that's it. Bye. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.